are joined on set by Kelly Fishbach with the Idiots Club, right? When I first moved to the lake, I saw this group called the Idiots Club and I thought, man, that's all for me right there, that's right? right. <laughs> but I didn't know what it was all about. So uh, what is the Idiots Club? What is it all about? Well, we're a group of people who believe it's important to support the kids living in poverty in the lake area. And so we fundraise and then work directly with the five school districts in the area, Eldon, School of the Osage, Camden 10, Max Creek, and Climax Springs. Okay, helping out uh, disadvantaged folks. Now you and your husband recently kind of took over leadership of the we, Idiots Club. We did. Um, two years ago, Danny and Dana talked about it's time to change leadership and that sort of thing. And I had just retired from teaching at the School of the Osage. Okay. And I'd witnessed what a difference the Idiots Club made for the kids that were in the school that I worked in. And I sat there thinking, this, this just can't really end. And of course, Max wasn't at that meeting. And I got home that night and said, I think we need to do this. And he looked at me like, are you sure? <laughs> and I said, well, we're both a couple of idiots, you know, so we might as well try something. And we both taught school for years. That was our entire career. So we knew how important it was for kids living in poverty to not feel like they stuck out at schools. And so it, it really touched our hearts. And so we decided, let's do this. Wow, that's yeah, so cool. That's kind of how it came to be. So what kind of money are we looking at? How long has the Idiots Club been around? 10 years, I guess. Right, and right. And how much have you guys raised and given away over that decade? You know, this that's a crazy story. The first year Denny and Dana started, 2014, they sat at a lake bar for 22 Saturdays and they raised $5,000. Wow. You know, and they thought that was pretty good. And, and they had worked with Camden saying, let's put this together and you have a need, call us and we'll, we'll see what we can do. And they didn't spend all of the $5,000, but they almost spent it all. Right. And the next year they raised 10,000 and almost spent it all, but not all. And they then I think raised 25,000 and said, well, we can't spend all that at Camdenton. So that's when they added Max Creek and Climax Springs School of the Osage. And so fast forward 10 years later, um, right this year, where we are at the school year, we're over $250,000 we've spent on kids this year. Just this year? Just this year, since wow. the 1st of July. Wow. Right, okay. right. Okay. And I'm looking at your numbers here. So you've raised over 1.2 million in, in that years. 10 years. Right. And you've given about 94 cents out of every dollar you give away. Is that right? right? That's one of the things we really kind of brag about because, first of all, we don't have any buildings yeah. and everybody is volunteered. Like I had to pay for my own shirt. Even. Really? Right. So everything that goes into this club goes right back to the kids. And so the only really expenses we have are postage, paper, some toner, you know, those types of things. Yeah. So, so if you're going to give to the Idiots Club, you know that your money's going right to the kids. Plus, we have a really great vetting process in that the counselors make sure that the kids are actually. Um, on free and reduced lunch mm -hmm. before they actually make a request. So we know that those kids have been checked out by the people that know they need it. You know, that is so cool that you know that you've broken it down. 94 cents out of every dollar goes to the charity that people are giving for because you've got some of these organizations, most, most of them are big national organizations, where that's not the case. I mean, it's kind of a 50-50 breakdown right. or less, you know. Uh, so you guys are basically giving all that money away. And in order to raise that money, how do you do that? How do you raise the money? Right, well, it's kind of a crazy story that we're never quite sure where this money comes from. But we do start with a kickoff at First Watch, and that'll be on May 18th and from three to six. Okay. And First Watch is a neat partner with us in that they close the doors at two, because they always close at two o'clock. Right. And then they reopen for our organization from three to six. And so anybody that wants to come and hear more about what the Idiots Club is, they can come. It costs $10 to get in. Okay. You get to eat off of a limited menu and that $10 covers that food and then you can buy whatever you want to drink. And we'll be selling our Barbie pink shirts and our $5 memberships. And if you want a hat or any of our other swag, you can get it that night also. Okay. There's also gonna be free entertainment this year, Traveling Kind. Have you heard them? I have not They're heard They're a that. fabulous no. duo. They play at a lot of lake area places, okay. different nights, but they've um, said they come and play for us from three to six. Traveling six. Kind. Traveling Kind, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So this is May 18th from three to six 
May 18th is what, a Saturday? It's a Saturday. Okay. May 18th from 3 to 6. If you just want to learn about what Idiots Club is, what they do, where the money goes, and maybe if you want to volunteer, right? Do you guys right. need volunteers? And this is one of those things when people all during the year are like, well, I'd like to help. This is where you come and we'll show you what you can do to help because we do sit at like bars six um, different Saturdays over the course of the summer mm -hmm. and we have four to six people in two different shifts. So we need about a dozen people to help us. And basically on those Saturdays, you just tell the people that are hanging out, having a good time, what the Idiots Club is and yeah. what we do. And it's crazy how one of the things maybe people like to know is the Idiots Club is just a name. It really stands for nothing. But when you're at a lake bar and you wanna say, hey, would you like to give us $5 to support kids living in poverty? They look at you like, yeah, that's nice. But if you come up and say, you wanna hear about our Idiots Club? They'll say, well, I got a table full of that's them. That's a good talking <laughs> yeah, point, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what we do. And then we just kind of tell them our story. We don't ever sell anything. We don't ever ask for money. We just tell our story. And, you know, people have a big heart in this world. Yeah, especially in this community. They do. And you have something called expired idiots. What are expired we, idiots? <laughs> we do. So people say, oh, I joined the Idiots Club. I said, really? Do you have a pink card? Because that's our color this year. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I think mine's purple. Well, our answer is that makes you an expired idiot. Ah. And so if you'd really like to be a current idiot, you need to come and get that new $5 membership card. Okay, cool. So if folks want to get more information, how can they go about doing that? Well, we're real active on Facebook. Okay. So you can just look um, Lodo Idiots Club and you'll find us on Facebook. And we post three to four times a week telling about what we have done buying things for kids. Okay. And it's, it's it's an interesting story because sometimes, like the start of the school year, lots of kids need clothes. They've outgrown everything they had for the previous school year. And they've worn flip-flops or sandals all summer long and their tennis shoes are shot. So we do a lot of that that time of the year. Now this time of the year, we're paying for things like tuxedos and prom dresses. Oh, wow. Yep, um, graduation caps and gowns, because kids can't afford that. They've stayed in school to this point. Now the last thing they need is maybe a pair of black pants and a cap and gown to go to graduation. Well, we're gonna make sure that happens. How cool is that, yeah. man? Okay, yeah. so Facebook, just look Facebook. up Idiots Club. Right. And uh, they We also have a website, like the Ozarks Idiots Club, and you can go on there and buy all of our swag too and read more about some of the things that we've done over the past 10 years. Okay, so that's Saturday, May 18th from three to six at First Watch. That's the first fundraiser. 